many people know of the Virginia flag with the words Exemper Tyrannus on it and a depiction of uh, what is probably Athena standing over a purple a robed a Roman looking person with a crown next to him. It's a crudely drawn depiction. And uh, of course, nowadays, the word six semper tyrannis more uh, fall in the line of always, uh, <clears throat> always adhere to tyrants <laughs> as far as that uh, modern version of the corporate juridic entity incorporated state of Virginia where uh, it is nothing but tyrannical. However, before the Greco-Roman roots were imposed on that particular location, the place that is the modern state of Virginia once looked very different. And in discerning this different state of that place, we will look at the book, A True Relation of Such Occurrences and Accidents of notes as hath uh, of note as hath happened virginia in virginia since the first planting of that colony which is now resident in the south part thereof till the last return from thence written by t h watson uh genteel i think one of the said colony to a worshipful friend of his in England. London, printed for John Tappe, and are to be fold at the Greyhound in Paul's Churchyard by WW1608. And here it is, a true relation of such occurrences and accidents of note as has happened in Virginia since the first plant in that colony, which is now resident in the south part thereof till the last return. Kind sir, commendations uh, remembered. Uh, you shall understand that after many, uh, I believe it says crosses in the downs by Trump tempests, we arrive safely upon the south well, west part of the southwest part of the great all right i'm not sure what that is but <clears throat> uh something within something and five days after we uh left for dominica or set sail yeah set sail for dominica 26 of april first land we made we fell with cape henry in the very mouth of the bay of chisipiake which at that present we little uh, something having by a cruel storm being put to the northward and green in this bay 20 and 30 went uh, shore with the captain and in coming aboard they were assaulted with certain Indians which charged them with pistols that in which conflict Captain Archer and Matthew Morton were shot where caught upon Captain Newport <laughs> Second, seconding them, made a shot at them, which the Indians little respected, but having spent their arrows, returned without harm, and in that place was uh, bur -op their opened, bur bur opened. I don't know, whatever that is, wherein the council for Virginia was nominated and arriving at the place where we are now seated. The council was shown, and the president elected, which for that year was Pastor Ed, Edwin EDW, e Maria Wingfield, where was made, made choice for our situation. A very fit place for the erection of a great city, about which some contention passed between Captain Wingfield and Captain uh, Gulf, Gulfnold, Gulfnold, notwithstanding all our um, possessions, I don't know, whatever that is, was brought ashore, 
and with as much speed as might be, we went about our fortification. On the 2 and 20 day of April, Captain Newport and uh, <clears throat> myself, with diverse others, to the number of 22 persons, set forward to discover the river some 50 uh, or 30 miles, finding it in some places broader and some narrower. The country, for the most part, on each side, plains high ground, with many something springs, probably springs, people in all places, yeah, that's hard to, not sure what that, people in all places kindly uh, entreated us, uh, dancing and, what, what uh, I don't know if that's dancing. I don't know what that is, actually. And seeding us with cacao berries, uh, mulberries, bread, uh, fish, and other their country uh, provisions, where we had plenty, for which Captain Newport kindly requited their least favors with uh, bells, pines, needles, um, beads, glass, which so contented them that uh, it's hereafter, I'm not sure, made, moved them, made them follow us from place to place and ever kindly to respect us. <laughs> In the midway stain to refresh ourselves in little something source and five savages came unto us which described unto us the course of the river and after in our journey they often met us trading with us for provisions as we had and arriving at Asatec or Arsatec 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 Whence whom we supported to be the chief king of all the rest, most kindly entertained us, giving us in a guide to go with us by the river to Powhatan, of which place their great emperor taketh his name, where he that they honored for king, um, something kindly, something else kindly, blessed, it's not, that can't be blessed, it's got to be something else. Uh, but to finish this discourse, we passed on further, where within an aisle we were interrupted with great craggy stone, and in the midst of the river where the water falleth so uh, rudely, and with such a violence as not any boat can passibly, possibly pass. And... So broad, disperseth, disperseth, that's hard to say, disperseth the stream, as there is not past five or six foot at a low water, and to the, those scarce passage with a barge, the water floweth uh, four foot, and the trenches, uh, by reason of the rocks, uh, have left marks of the inundations eight to nine foot. The south side is plain low ground, and the north side high mountains. Mountains, the rocks being a gravelly nature, interlaced with many veins of uh, glis glistening spangles that might return uh, be that might we return to Powhatan the next bay being Whiston Bay after dinner we returned to the falls leaving a mariner in pawn with the Indians as a guide of theirs he that they honored for 
king followed us by the river. That afternoon we trifled in looking upon the rocks and river. That might be something else, I'm not sure. Trissled, maybe. Further would not go, so there we erected a cross, and that night, taking our man at Powhatan, Captain Newport congratulated his kindness with a... Oh, uh, go... Go woo? I don't know what that is. And a hatchet, returning to Arsitek. And stayed there the next day to observe the height thereof, so with many signs of love and departed then departed. The next day the Queen of Agamatak kindly entreated us, her people being no less contented than the rest, and from thence we went to another place, the name where I do not remember. Where the people showed us the manner of their di diving for mussels in which they find pearls <laughs> that might passing by Wayanock some 20 miles from our fort they uh, uh, accorded to their former I'm not sure what that is condition seemed little to affect us but as we departed and lodged at the point of Wayanoke the people the next morning seemed kindly to content us, yet we might perceive many signs of a more jealous, jealous, I'm not sure what that is, in them and than before, and also the kind that the king of Arsatek had given us altered his resolution in going to our fort. As with many kind circumstances left us there, this gave us some occasion to doubt some mischief at the fort. Yet Captain Newport intended to have uh, something pa, Paspaheli and Tapahonoke. But the instant change of the mind being fair to return, we repaired for the f to the fort with all speed, where the first we heard was that 400 Indians the day before had assaulted the fort and something. It had not God beyond all their expectations by means of the ships at whom they shot with their ordinances and muskets caused them to retire. They had entered the fort with our own men, which were then busied in setting corn, <laughs> their arms being them in uh, something few ready, but certain gentlemen of their own in which conflict. Comfort. I anchored before the town, and the next day returned to trade, but... God, the absolute disposer of all hearts, altered their conceits, for now they were no less uh, desirous of our commodities than we of their corn. Huh. Well, I suppose that is the under color to fetch something water. I sent man to discover the town, their corn, and force to try their intent, and that they did something meet up to their houses, which well understanding with uh, four shot and I dumping them with uh, fish, oysters, bread, and beer. They kindly traded with me and my men, being no less in doubt of my intent than I of theirs. For well I might with twenty men have freighted a ship with corn or uh, freighted a ship of corn. The town containeth 18 houses, pleasantly seated upon three acres of ground, upon a plain, uh, half something, with the great bay of the great river, the other part with the bay of the other river, falling into the great bay, with 
the little uh, fit for a castle in the mouth there of the town uh, adjoining to the main by neck of land by uh, 30 something with 15 bushels of corn and return towards our fort the way i encountered with two canoes indians who came aboard being the inhabitants of waro skoyak a kingdom on the something side of the river uh, for, i think it's front which is in breadth five miles and 20 miles uh near from the north mouth with these I traded, which having but their hunting possession or provisions, requested me to return to their town, where I would load my boat with corn, and with thirty bushels, I returned to the fort. The very uh, name whereof gave great comfort to our despairing company. Time thus passing away, I having not above fourteen. Uh, days uh, rituals left some something there made about our presidents a captain archer uh, going for england to procure supply in which time a meantime we had reasonably sit, fitted us with uh, houses and our president a captain martin being able to walk abroad with much about uh, much ado, it was concluded that the Pianets, Pian, I don't know what that is, and a barge should go towards Powhatan to trade for corn. Um, lots were cast who should go uh, th uh, thither, or uh, I'm not sure what that is. The chance was mine with uh, the what well, um, anyway I made voyage to Topo Hanak. Yeah, this is difficult to read in certain parts. Where arriving there was but certain women and children who fled from their houses, yet at last I drew them to uh, something. Corn they had plenty, a topsoil I had no uh, commission. In my return to Paspahe, Paspahe, I traded with that um, churlish and treacherous nation. Having loaded ten or twelve bushels of corn, they offered to take our pieces and swords. Yet by stealth, but seeming to dislike it, they were ready to assault us. Yet, <clears throat> sounds like they tried to steal it, maybe. Yet, uh, raiding uh, upon our guard and co coasting the th shore, diverse out of the woods would meet with us with corn and trade, but lest we should be constrained either to endure uh, over much wrong or directly fall to revenge seeing them um, dog us from place to place it being night and our necessity not uh, fit for wars we took occasion to return with 10 bushels of corn captain martia after made two journeys to that nation of paspahe but each time returned with eight or ten bushels all things being now ready for my journey to Powhatan for the performance thereof. I had eight men and myself for the barge, as well for discovery as trading the Pinos, uh, five mariners and two landmen to take in our land lading at convenient places. The 9th of, 9th of November, I set as the 9th of November. I set forward for the discovery of the country of Chickahominia, leaving the penance the next tide to follow and stay 
for my coming at Point Wayanoke, 20 miles from our fort. The mouth of the, this river falleth onto the great river of Paspaha, Paspaha, eight miles above our fort. That afternoon I stayed the uh, night, I think, but it says EB, in the bay of Paspaha with the Indians towards the evening. Certain Indians helped, hailed me, one of them being of Chickahominy, offered to conduct me to his country, the Paspaha, Paspahians. That's an interesting name. Grudged there at, along we went by moonlight at midnight, he brought us before his town, uh, desiring one of our men to go with him, whom kindly entertained and returned back to the barge. The next morning I went to the town and showed them what copper and hatchets they should have for corn, each family seeking to give me most content so long they caused me to stay and 100 at least was ex expecting my coming by the river with corn i liked i brought and list left they should perceive my too great i went higher up the river this place is called manis manisokosik or manu focusing well there's many ways that could be said i suppose got the fs going on there quarter of a mile from the river containing 30 and 40 houses upon my exceeding upon an exceeding high land at the foot of the hill towards the river is a plain wood watered with many springs which fall 20 yards right into the river right against and same is great march of four five miles circuit divided into th three lands by the parting of the river abounding with uh, fish and fowl of all kinds of all sorts a mile from thence is a town called or oranioke i further discovered by Towns of Mansa, Apahok, Werewahone, and Mamanahut. At each place, kindly uh, something. Especially at the last, being a part of the country where we assembled 200 people with such abundance of corn as having laid it out, laid it our barge. As also I might have laid it a ship, I returned to Paspahe, and considering I want of corn at our fort, it be night with uh, something by midnight, I arrived uh, at our fort where I found our. Uh, I that's uh, got to be the pinos run aground. The next morning, I uh, something into our fort. The next morning, I returned again. The second day, I arrived at Mamanahut, where uh, people, having heard of my coming, were ready with three or three or four hundred baskets, a little and great, to which, having laded my barge with many signs and great kindness, I returned. At my departure, they requested me to bear our pieces, being in the midst of the river, which in regard I, uh, something, of ordinance. Many birds and fowls, they see us daily kill that much feared them. So, something trade were they, and they would follow me with their canoes for anything give it mm, something i laid it again seven eight hogs heads at our fort having thus by god's assistance gotten good uh, something of corn notwithstanding some bad spirits not content with god's providence to grew they grew mutinous in so much that our uh, something having occasion to chide the 
and something for our he not only gave him bad language, but also offered to strike him with some of his tools. Oh, that's the smith. The smith. For his mischief, I think. Uh, for which rebellions uh, ha uh, act? I don't know. The smith was by a jury condemned to be hanged, and being upon the ladder, con continuing very obstinate, as hoping upon a reprieve, when he saw no other way out but death with him, he became penitent, penitent, yeah, penitent, declared dangerous conspiracy for which Captain Kendolf, as principal, was by a jury condemned and shot to death. This conspiracy appealed, I set forth for the discovery of the river of Chekhamnia, this third time I discovered by towns of Matapamient, Morino, Ascapa, uh, no, Ascacap, Moistonak, Riga, Hauk, Nechinichuk, Matalut, Atam, Bineke, Spinke, Atamas, Atamu, Pinky, and diverse others. There are plenty of corn I found uh, discovered. <laughs> Bring the bard. I returned to our fort. Our fort being now indifferently well provided with corn. There was much ado uh, for to have the Pinos go for England, against which Captain Martin and myself standing chiefly against it and in uh, <clears throat> after many debatings pro and contra I was resolved to stay and um, something uh, resolution this matter also quieted I set forward to finish this discovery which as yet I had neglected in regard of necessity we had to take in provisions whilst it was to be had 40 units I passed by a river which for the most part is a quarter of a mile broad and three fathom and a half deep exceedingly uh, something many great low marshes I think it's marshes many high uh, lads tads I don't know especially about uh, midst of a place called Moisonike a peninsula of four miles circuit or uh, I think I think that's circuit I'm not sure Betwixt two rivers joined by the main by neck of 40 or 50 yards and 40 or 50 yards from the high water mark on both tides in the very neck of the main. Our high hills and dales yet much inhabited the isle declining in a plain fertile uh, corn field. The lower and a low marsh. More plenty of swans, cranes, geese, ducks, and mallards. A river, riv diverse forts of fowl, sorts of fowl. None would desire a more plain, a fertile plain. That's plain fertile. It's interesting. Fertile being the uh, descriptive word there so usually we would say fertile plain they're saying plain fertile in the manner of like Spanish and French and Portuguese Latin Italian and whatnot uh, planted ground in such great proportions as there I had not seen of a light black uh, fancy mold the cliffs commonly red white and yellow uh, covered colored land I under under red and white clay 
fifth first great plenty and people of in abundance, the most of their inhabitants in view of the neck of the land where a better seat for a town cannot be desired at the end of 40 miles this river uh, environeth I'm not sure many low lands at each high water uh, drowned for a mile or crowned drowned looks like drowned where it uniteth itself at a place called Apocant Apocant the highest towns inhabited 10 miles I discovered with a barge in the midway a great tree binded uh, my passage which I cut in two uh, here the river became narrower 8.9 or 10 foot at a height high water and uh, looks like 0 0.27 at low the there came exceedingly swift at the bottom hard channel the ground most part a low plain sandy soil this occasioned me to suppose it might uh, issue from some lake or some uh, broad ford for it could not be far to the head but rather than i would ex in uh, endanger the barge yet to have been able to rejoin this doubt i took something to which charge the imputation of malicious uh something uh, that half suspected i burst not for long delaying some of the company as his lodging the captain uh conducting me to his lodging a quarter of venison and some 10 pounds of bread i had for supper what i left was referred to me and sent with me to my lodging each morning i each war morning women prof profet provid me great platters of fine bread uh, i believe proffered maybe more venison than 10 men could devour i had my gown points and garters my rumpus and a tablet they gave me again though eight ordinarily guarded me i wanted not what they could devise to content me and still our longer acquaintance increased our better affection much they threatened to assault our fort as they were solicited by the king of paspehe who showed at our fort great signs of sorrow for this mischance the king took great delight in understanding the manner of our ships and sailing the seas the earth and skies and of our god what he knew of the Dominicus he spared not to acquaint me with, as of certain men clothed at a place called Okanahona. Clothed like me, the course of our river, and that within four or five days' journey of the falls, was a great turning of salt water. I, uh, something, he would send a messenger to paspehe with a letter i would write by which they should understand and show kindly they uh, that word again it it looked like it looks like uh bled me but it's not that's an interesting word i'm not sure what it is and that i was well left they should revenge my death this he granted and sent their men in such weather as in reason we were uh, unpossible by any naked 
to be endured. Their cruel minds towards uh, the fort I had deserted in describing the ordnance and the mines in the fields, as also revenge Captain Newport would take of them at his return. Their intent I inserted the fort. The people of Okanahunam and the Back Sea. This report they found diverse Indians that confirmed the next day after my letter came a salvage to my lodging with a uh, savage with his sword to have slain me. But being by my guard interrupted with a bow and arrow, he offered to have effected his purpose. Uh, this the cause I knew not till the king understanding thereof came and told me of a man at of a man at dine wounded with my pistol he told me also of another i had slain yet the most concealed they had any hurt this was the father of him i had slain whose fury to prevent the king presently conduct me to another kingdom that's interesting that's uh has to do with an ambush that was done earlier in the, the book there's parts of this book that are omitted for uh, purpose of video length. <laughs> Upon the top of the next northerly river called y y Yotanan, Yotanan, having uh, something, me, uh, be further led me to another, he further led me to another branch of the river called Matapament to two other hunting towns. They led me and each of these countries a house of the great emperor of Puhakan, whom as yet I supposed to be at the falls. To him I told him I must go, and he returned to Paspane, Pas, Paspahe. Yes, yeah, the same one. To him I told him I must go and to return to Paspeha after the source I uh, after this four and five days march he returned to Rasarak, the first town they brought me to where binding the falls pats I am not sure what that is in bundles they marched two days journey and crossed the river of Yotana where it was broad as the Thames to conducting me to a place called Menapakut in Pamanuk, Pamank, Pamank, I think it's Pamank, where king inhabited the next day another king of that nation called Kekata, having received some kindness of me at the fort, kindly uh, something me to seat at his house, the people from all places flocked to see me each showing to content me. By this great king has, hath four and five houses, each containing four, uh, wait, each containing four score and an hundred, um, I'm not sure what that is, it looks like roast, but that's <laughs> in length. Pleasantly seated upon a high sandy hill, from whence you may see westerly a goodly um, lean country, low country, not low country. Yep, there it is. The river before the the which has crooked course causeth many great marshes of exceeding good ground, and hundred houses and many large plains are here together inhabited. More abundance of uh, fowl and a uh, pleasanter seat cannot be imagined. The king, with forty bowmen to guard me, entreated me to discharge my pistol, which they there presented me with the mark at uh, fur, four score to strike therewith, but to spoil the pistol. I broke the cask, whereat they were much discontented though a chance uh, supposed 
So yeah, they wanted him to shoot his pistol, and um, instead he damaged it, broke it. From thence, this kind king conducted me to a place called Topa Hanoke, a kingdom upon another river northward. The cause of this was that the year before, a ship had been in the river of Pamanke, who, having been kindly entertained by Powhatan, their emperor, they returned thence and discovered the river of Topa Hanoke, where being received with like kindness, yet be slew the king. Be flew the king, I'm not sure what that is, and uh, looks of his people, and they supposed I were um, he. But the people reported him a great man that was captain, and um, something me kindly. The next, next day we departed. This river of Topahonok cometh in breadth, not much less than that we dwell upon. At the mouth of the river is a country called Kutata. Women upwards is country called Kutata women. That's interesting. Upwards is Maro, Takum, Tapahonok, Apamatuk, and Nantaukstakum. At Topamanok, a eh, the bead is shewing from many mountains. The next night I lodged at a hunting town of Powhatoms, and the next day arrived at Warana Komoko, upon the river of Pamanke, where the great king is resident. By the way, we passed by the top of another little river, which is betwixt the two called Peyankatak. Peyankatak. The most of this country through desert, yet exceedingly fertile, good timber, uh, most hills and bales in each valley, a um, crystal spring. Arriving at Weramakokomoko, uh, yeah, Weramakokomoko, <laughs> the emperor proudly lying upon a bedstead a foot high from upon ten or twelve um, malts, richly hung with many chains of great pearls about his neck and covered with a great covering of rauhakums. At his bed sat a woman, at his feet another, and each, uh, at his head sat a woman, and at his feet another, and in each sitting upon a most uh, mat upon the ground were arranged his chief men on each side of the fire, Ten in a rank, and behind them as many young women. Each a great chain of white beads around over their shoulders, their heads painted in red, <coughs> and with such a grave and melancholical, I'm not sure what that is, countenance as, and me into ad admiration to see such uh, something in a naked savage. Be kindly welcomed me with good words and great platters of uh, fan, something. I think it's fantastic. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, vittles, maybe? Hard to say. Offering me his friendship and my liberty with four days, he much delighted in Opecon Como's relation of what I had described to him and after examined upon the same, he taught asked me the cause of our coming. I told him, being in fight with the Spaniards, our enemies, being overpowered, uh, near put to retreat, and by extreme weather put to the shore. Where landing at Chesapeake, the people, Chesapeake, the people shot us, but at Kekotan, they kindly, um, again, that word there, uh, us, we by signs demanded fresh water. They described us by uh, the river was all fresh water at Paspahe. Also, they kindly something. Our pinas being a leak, we were forced to stay to mend her. 
till Captain Newport, my father, came to conduct us away. He demanded why we went further with our boat. I told him in that I would have occasion to take uh, of the back sea, to talk of the back sea, that on the other side, the main, where was salt water. My father had a child slain, which we supposed Monacan, his enemy, had uh, something whose death we intended to revenge. After good deliberation, he began to describe me the countries beyond the falls. With many of the rest, I confirming what not only Opechancayones and an Indian which had been prisoner at Puhatan had before told me, but some called it five bays, some or, or some six, possibly six bays, some eight, where the said water bathed amongst many stones and rocks, each stone storm which carried off times the beat of the river to um, be brackish. Enchanachuk, he described to be the people that had slain my brother, whose death he would revenge. Uh, he described also upon the same sea a mighty nation called Pocotranok. Uh, Pocotranok. Tronok. Poco Tronok. Yeah. <coughs> Actually, I think it would be pronounced Poku Tronok because of the G-H there. Uh, spelled P-O-C-O-U-G-H-T-R-O-N-A-C-K. A fierce nation that did Kate men and warred with the people of Moyanur. Moyaunter and Pataromerke. Nations upon the top of the bead of the bay, under his territories, where the year before they had slain an hundred, he, sign, uh, an hundred, he signified their crowns were shaven, long hair in the neck, tied in a knot, swords like pole axes. Now, for this particular paragraph, I should note that what I believe he is talking about are, in fact, the Osage, the Osage Nation. They, uh, Bay, I'm not entirely sure, but they sound like the Osage with the crowns shaven and swords like poleaxes sound a lot like gunstock war clubs. Anyway, beyond them... <coughs> He described people with short coats and sleeves to the elbows. They passed that way in ships like ours. Many kingdoms he described me to the beat of the bay, or head of the bay, which seemed to be a mighty river issuing from mighty mountains betwixt the two seas, the people clothed at Okamahoan. He also confirmed, and the southerly countries also, as the rest that reported to be within a bay and half of Mangog, or Mangogge, Mangolje, I'm not sure, two bays of Chawanok, six, uh, for Runok, or Ru Ruonok, to the north part of the back sea, he described a country called Anone, where they have abundance of brass and bulls walled houses walled as ours. I requited his discourse, seeing what pride he had in his great and spacious dominions, seeing that all he knew were under his territories. Now, um, obviously these places he's describing are not under this person's territories, and it, you have to uh, imagine the context of the understanding of that the person describing this place and talking with this uh, this uh, Indian guy <clears throat> is European, and his only frame of reference, of course, are the you know, kings, emperors, those types of things. Uh, but what this sounds like 
is a description of the entire North American continent. The Back Sea, of course, being what we would call the Pacific. This runs completely counter to what we are told about the understanding of the Indians. That they had, that the uh, Indians on the eastern coast had no awareness or understanding of the western coast, which is one of the many, the multitude of lies that is presented today by the Greco-Roman imperial um, education system of today, which is a brainwashing school. Anyway, in describing him the territories of Europe, which was subject to our great king, whose subject I was, the uh, innumerable multitude of his ships, I gave him to understand the um, noise of trumpets and terrible manner of fighting we were under Captain Newport, my father, whom I intuited the Mewarames, which they call king of all the waters, at his greatness be admired and not a little feared. He desired me to forsake Paspalie and to live with him upon his river, a country called Kappa Hawasike. He promised to give me corn, venison, and what I wanted to feed us, hatchets and copper, we should make him, and none should disturb us. This request I promised to uh, perform, and thus uh, hanging with... Uh, having with all the kindness he could be uh, be miss sought to content me he sent me home with four men one that virtual viewly carried my gown and knapsack after me two other loaded with bread and one to accompany me this river of pamanque <coughs> is not past 12 mile from that we dwell on this course, not uh, northwest and westerly, as the other Wera Okomoko is upon salt water in breadth two miles, and for so keeping his course without any tarrying some twenty miles, where at the parting of the fresh water and the salt, it divideth itself into two parts, the one part to Goland, as broad as Thames, and navigable with a boat um, three three core and four course miles with ship a ship fifty, exceedingly crooked and many low grounds with marshes, but inhabited with abundance of warlike and tall people. The country of Yotama, Yot, Yotomam, of no less worth, only it is lower, but all the soil a as sat fertile uh, sandy ground above Manapakumter. Many high sandy mountains by the river as many rocks, seeming if not of several mines. The other branch a little less in breadth, yet extendeth not near to uh, fair, nor so well inhabited, somewhat lower and white handle and white clay soil or sandal white sand i'm not sure white clay soil here is their best terra sigillata the mouth of the river as i see in the discovery thereof with captain newport is half a mile broad and within four miles above a basket hatchet basket shot I'm not sure what that is the channel, it's uh, clearly a gun of some sort. Not, oh, well, I, I suppose it's musket shot. Yeah, there we go, musket shot. The channel, uh, exceedingly good and deep. The river straight to the environs of uh, Kerskirk, the nearest nation to the entrance. <laughs> Their religion and ceremony I observed was thus. There and four, three and four days after my taking leave of them in the house where I lay, each with a rattle began at ten o'clock in the morning to sing about the fire which they envisioned with a circle of meat, and after a foot or two from that at the end of each long laid down two or three grains of wheat, continuing this order they have included 
fire and seven hundred and half circle and after that two or three more circles in this manner um a band breadth from each other that none at each at each long they put betwixt and uh, every three two or five grains a little stick so counting as an old woman her paternoster that's interesting he disguised with great skin his head hung round with little skins of weasels and other vermin with the crownet of feathers on his head painted it as ugly as the um uh, i'm not sure what that is devil at the end of each long will make many signs and demonstrations with strange and vehement actions great cakes of deer uh, suet deer and tobacco and casteth in the fire till fire <coughs> um Till four o'clock in the evening, or five o'clock, their howling would continue ere they would depart. Each morning in the coldest uh, roast, I'm not sure, the principal to the number of twenty and thirty assembled themselves in a round circle, a good distance from the town, where they told me they there consulted where to hunt and next day, the next day. So sat they said, fed me, that I much doubted they intended to have sacrificed me to the Kiyokosike, which is a superior power they worship. A more uglier thing cannot be described. Once they have for what one they have for chief sacrifices, which they call Kiyokosike, to cure a sick man, a man with a rattle and a and extreme howling, uh, showing shouting singing and such violent gestures and antic actions over the patient will suck out blood then flam from the patient out of their body uh, unable stomach any deceased place as no labor will uh, more tire them tobacco they offer the water in passing in tow in in well in foul weather the breath of any they lament with great sorrow and weep death. The death of any they lament with great sorrow and weeping. Their kings they bury betwixt two mats within their houses. With all his beads, jewels, hatchets, and copper. The other in graves like ours. They acknowledge no resurrection. Powhatan hath three brethren and two sisters. Each of his brethren succeeded other for the crown they uh <coughs> their uh days dazes bases i'm not sure what that is inherit not but the first uh something of the sisters and so such likely the women's heirs for the kings have as many women as they will, his subjects too, and most but one. From where Makokomoko is about 12 miles, yet the Indians trifled away that day and would not go to our fort by any persuasions, but in certain else hunting houses of Pasapag we lodged all night. The next morning, ere sun rise, <coughs> we set toward our fort, where we arrived within an hour, where each man with the truest signs of joy they could um, express welcomed me except Mr. Archer and some two or three of his who was then in my absence. Sworn counselor, though not with the content of Captain Martin, great blame and imputation was laid upon me by them for the loss of our two men which the Indians slew, insomuch that they purposed to dispose of me. But in the midst of my miseries, I pleaded to God, I ple pleased, hmm, it pleased God 
to send Captain Newport, who, arriving there the same night, so tripled our joy as for a while these pilot plots against me were deferred. Though with much malice against me, with which Captain Newport in that time did plainly see. Now was uh, Master Scrivener, Captain Martin, and myself called. Counselors. <coughs> Within five or six days after the arrival of the ship, by mischance our fate was uh, fort was burned, and the most of our apparel, lodging, and private provisions, many of our old men deceased, many of our new for want of lodging perished. The Emperor Powhatan each week once or twice lent me many presents of dear bread, Rao, Rao Grocoons. Yeah, that's interesting. Half always for my father, whom he much desired to see, and half for me, and so continuing, importioned by messengers and presents, that I would come to fetch the corn and take the country their king had given me, as at last Captain Newport resolved to go see him. Such acquaintance I had amongst the Indians, and much confidence they had in me, as near the fort they would not come till I came to them, every of them calling me by name, would not sell anything till I had first received their presence. And what they uh, has had that I liked, they preferred to my discretion, deferred to my discretion. But after acquaintance, they um, usually came into the fort at their pleasure. The president and the rest of the council they knew not, but Captain Newport greatness I had so described. As they conceived him the chief, the rest his children, officers, and servants. We had agreed with the uh, king of Paspahe to conduct two of our men to a place called Panawike beyond Roanoke, where he reported many men to the, uh, a parcel, I'm not sure what that is. Um, we landed at Warascoyak, where playing the villain and, uh, something for rewards, returned within three or four days after without going further. Captain Newport, Master Scrivener, and myself found the mouth of Pamunke River some 20 or 30 miles northward from Cape Henry, the council, uh, Chance. Council? Chance. Good as before. Uh, uh, not sure what that is. Arriving at Wermakomoka, being jealous of the intent of these politic salvage, savage, to discover his intent the better, I with twenty shot armed in jacks went ashore. <laughs> That's interesting. Twenty shot armed in jacks went That's weird. The bay where we dwelleth hath in three, in it three, cricks and a mile and a bait from the channel, all of being conducted by the town. I found myself mistaken in the creek, for they all were within less than a mile. The emperor's son called Nakawakawis, the captain that took me, and diverse others of his chief men conducted me to their king's habitation. But in the midway, I was intercepted by a great creek over which they had made a bridge of grained stakes and rails. The king of Kiskiek and Namontak, who all the journey the king had sent to guide us, had conducted us his, this passage which caused me to suspect some mischief. The barge I had sent to meet me at the right landing, when I found myself first deceived and knowing by experience that most of their courage is to proceed from other sphere. Though we liked the passage, 
intermingled the king's son, our conductors, and his chief men amongst ours, and led forward, leaving half at the one end to make guard at the passage of the front. The Indians, seeing the weakness of the bridge, came with canoe and took me one in the midst with four or five more being landed. We made a guard for the rest till all passed, two in a canoe. A rank, we marched to the emperor's house. Before his house stood forty and fifty great platters of fine bread uh, being um, something entered being entered the house with uh, Centun's lend uh, trends. I'm not sure what that is. They all made uh, signs of great joy. This proud savage having his finest women and the principal of his chief men assembled sat in ranks as before as expressed um, something as upon a throne at the upper end of the house with such a majesty as I cannot express nor yet have even seen either in pagan or Christian with the kind countenance he bade me welcome and caused a place to be made by himself to sit I presented him with a uh, suit loot of red cloth white greyhound and a um, not sure what that is date dast bat I don't know as jewels esteemed them and with a great Uh, a great oration made by three of his nobles. If there be any amongst savages, kindly accepted them with a public confirmation of a perpetual league and friendship. After that, he commanded the queens of Apamatu, a comely young savage, to give me water, a turkey cock and bread to eat being thus seated he began his discourse to this purpose for kind uh, visitation doth much content me but whereas your father whom I much desire to see is he not with you I told him he remained abroad aboard but the next day he would come unto him. With a merry countenance he asked me for certain pieces, I which promised him when I went to Paspaha. I told according to my promise that I profit the man, uh, the man that went with me for uh, demi colorings culverings in that he so desired a great gown gun might be gun I think it's gun but they revised to take them whereat with a low laughter loud laughter he desired to give him some of less burden as for the other, I gave him them, being sure that none could carry them. But where are these men you promised to come with you? I told him without, who thereupon gave others to have them brought in two uh, after two. Ever maintain the guard and without, guard without. And as they presented themselves ever with thanks, he would salute me and caused each of them to have more to have four or five pound of bread given them this done i asked him for the corn and 
ground he promised me. He told me I should have it, but he <laughs> expected to have all these men lay their arms at his feet and bid his subjects. I told him that it was a ceremony our enemies um, like uh, decreed. I think that's decreed. Uh, it's hard to say. But never our friends. As we presented ourselves unto him, yet that he should not doubt our friendship. Next day my father would give him a child of his in full assurance of our loves. Lows? I'm not sure what that is. Not only that, but when he should think it convenient, he would deliver under his subjugation the country of Manakam and Pocahontas. Toanak, his enemies. This so contented him as immediately with attentive uh, something, with a lewd oration, he proclaimed me a Awerowanes of Powhatan, and that all his subjects should uh, esteem us. And no man account us strangers, nor Paspahechan, but Powhatans, and that the corn, women, and country should be to us as to his own people. This proffered kindness for many reasons we contented, uh, hmm, contented not, but with the best languages and signs of thanks I could express. I took my leave. It's interesting that they're able to talk um, about all this stuff, uh, but one has to wonder in what language they are speaking in and how they're doing this and what, in fact, is lost in translation. The king, rising from his seat, conducted me forth and uh, caused each of my men to have as much more bread as he could bear, giving me some in a basket. As much he sent aboard for a present to my father, um, Vic, Victuals, Victuals, you must know is all there. Wealth and the greatest kindness they could uh, show us. Arriving at the river, the barge was fallen so low with the ebb Though I had given order and asked sent to present prevent the same, yet the messengers deceived me, the skies being very thick and rainy. The king, understanding this mischance, uh, sent his son and Mamontake, Mamontake to conduct me to a great house sufficient to lodge me, where entering I saw it hung round with bows and arrows. The Indians, uh, something all diligence to make us fires, give us content. content. The king's um, orators presently entertained us with a kind oration, with express charge that not any should steal or take out bows and arrows or offer any injury. Presently after, he sent me a quarter of venison to stay my stomach. In the evening, he sent for more to come. One Lee. With two that with me. The company I gave others to stand uh, upon their guard. Uh, maintained two sentries at the posts all night. Um... Ate my supper, uh, before me, uh, meat for twenty men, and seeing I could not eat, he caused it to be given to my men. For this is a general custom that what they give, not to take again, but you must either eat it, give it away, or carry it with you. Two or three hours we spent in our uh, something, discoveries. 
which have I was with a five thick lighted fire stick lighted to my lodging. That's interesting. The next day, the king conducting me to the river showed me to his canoes and described unto me how he sent them over the bays for tribute beads and also what countries paid him beads, copper, and skins. But seeing Captain Newport and uh, Master Scrivener coming ashore, the king returned to his house and went to make to meet them with a trumpet before him. We marched to the king who after his old manner kindly received him, especially a boy of 13 years old called Thomas Savage. Hmm. It's interesting that um, Savage is in fact spelled S-A-L-V-A-G-E like salvage or salvage if the it's a, usually you, but Thomas Savage, whom he gave him as his son. He requited his, this kindness with each of a great basket of beans and entertaining him with the former discourse, he passed away that day and agreed to bargain the next day and returned to our dinner. Dennis? Pinnis. Yeah. Next day coming ashore in like in, in like the other, in like uh, uh, older, whatever. The king having kindly entertained us with a banquet. Uh, actually, that's not banquet. It's like breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Yep, that's what it is. Uh, questioned with us in this manner. Why we came armed in that fort? Seeing he was over our friend and had neither bows nor arrows, what did we doubt? I told him it was the custom of our country, not doubting of his kindness and ways. Wherewith, though he seemed satisfied yet captain newport caused all our men to retire to the water side which was some 30 um score from thence but to present the worst prevent the worst master scrivener and i were either one or other by the barge experience had well taught me to believe his friendship till convenient opportunity suffered him to betray us but quickly this <coughs> politician well, that's interesting politician of the t had perceived my absence and cunningly sent for me i sent for master scrivener to supply my place the king would demand for him i would again relieve him and they fought to satisfy our sus suspicion with kind language and not bring agreed to trade for corn. He desired to see all our hatchets and copper together for which he would give corn. With that ancient trick the Chickahominians had oft acquainted me his offer I uh, we've I don't think it's it could be refused yes I think it's refused offering first to show what he would give for one piece uh, yeah haggling he seemed to despise the nature of a merchant did scorn to sell but we freely would give him and he liberally would acquit us captain newport would not with less than 12 great coppers try his kindness which he liberally requited with as much corn as at chickahominia i had for one of less proportion our hatchets he would also have at his own rate for which kindness he much seemed to affect captain newport some few branches of blue bends I had. Hmm. Wonder what that is. Blue beads. A uh, few bunches of be blue beads I had, which he much desired, and seeing so few, he 
offered me a basket of two pecks, and that which I drew to be three pecks at the least, and yet seemed contented and desired more. I agreed with him the next day for two bushels, and uh, Eb, uh, and now con constrained us to return to our boat. Although he earnestly desired us to stay uh, for dinner, stay dinner, which was a providing and bring uh, ready, he sent a board after us which was bread and venison, sufficient for a little as 40 persons. For 50 or 40 persons. Next day he sent his son in the morning not to bring um, uh, those with us any pieces left his women and children should fear. Huh. Lest his, lest his women and children should fear. Captain Newport's good beliefs would have sacrificed that request, uh, set, rectified that, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, 20 or 25 uh, shot we got ashore. The king importuning me to leave my arms aboard, much misliking my uh, sword, pistol, and target. I told him the man that slew my brother with the like uh, with like disarms, DT arms? I'm not sure what that is. Terms. Oh, with like terms. With like terms had persuaded me and being unarmed, shot at us, and so betrayed us. He often entreated <coughs> Captain Newport that his men might leave their arms, which still he commanded to the water. Um, this day we spent in trading for blue beads and... It's interesting, blue is B-L-E-W, and uh, something um, near straight at our barge. Captain Newport returned with them that came aboard, leaving me and Master Scrivener and those to follow in canoes. Into one I got with five of our men, which being launched at a stone's cast from those stuck uh, rats. Down in the uh, die. Hmm. Those struck something in the die. Yeah, whatever. Master Scrivener, seeing this example, with seven and <coughs> seven or eight more past the dreadful bridge. Dreadful bridge. <laughs> Thinking to have found uh, deeper water in the other creek. But they were enforced, it looks like enforced, to stay with such entertainment as a savage being, uh, for, I don't know what that is, uh, those with wind and rain having in his canoe as commonly they have his house and, or house and boathouse, or, um, I'm not sure what that is actually. Instantly set up a house of mats, which um, secured them from the storm. Yeah. The Indians seen me uh, pressed in the die. I'm not sure. Called to me uh, five, five and seven of the king's chiefs men threw off their skins and to the middle in die came to be, bear me out on their heads their importunus caused me better to like the canoe than their courtesy excusing my denial for fear to fall into the 
die, um, desiring them to bring me homeward, or some some wood, <laughs> bring me some wood, fire and mats to cover me, and I would content them. Each presently gave his help to satisfy my request, which pains a house would um, scarce have endured. Yet a couple of bells richly contented them. The emperor sent his seaman Mantivas, or Mantivas, in the evening with bread and uh, victual for me and my men. Be no more scrupulous than the rest seemed. To take pride in the window, wing, wing bow. Little he regarded that miserable cold and uh, bur, bur, busy, dirty passage. I'm not sure. Though a, a bog would scarce have endured it. Dog would scarce have endured it. This kindness I found when I little expected less than a mischief, but the black night parting our companies, ere midnight the flood served to carry us aboard. The next day we came ashore, the king with solemn discourse, causing all to depart, but his principal men, and this was the effect when as he perceived that we had... Um, a desire to invade Monacum a gainst when whom he was no uh, professed enemy yet thus fair be, fair he would or yeah he would assist us in this enterprise uh, first he worried would send his spies Perfectly to understand their strength and ability to fight, with which he would acquaint us himself. Captain Newport would not be seen in it himself, <coughs> being great where wants They would stay at home, but I, Master Scrivener, and two of his sons, and Ope Chan Ope Chana Kona Kon I'm not sure. The king of Pamanke would have one hundred of his men go before us as though they were hunting. They giving us notice where was the advantage we should kill them. The women and young children he wished we should spare and bring them to him only one hundred or one hundred and fifty of our men he held sufficient for this exploit. Our boats should stay at the falls where we might uh, hew timber, which we might uh, convey each man a piece till we were past the stones, and there join them to pass our men by water if any were shot. Uh, his men should bring them back to our boats. This fair tale had almost made Captain Newport undertake by his me this means to discover the South Sea, which will not be with without treachery, if we ground our intent upon his um, constant constancy. I'm not sure. This day we spent in trading, dancing, and much mirth. The king of Pamanque sent his messenger as yet not knowing Captain Newport, to come unto him, who had long expected me. Desiring also my father to befit him, the messenger stayed to conduct us. But Powhatan, understanding that we had hatchets lately come from Paspache, uh, desired the next day to trade with us, and not to go further. This new trick he cunningly put upon him, but only to have what 
be lift, lifted and to try whether we would go or stay. Opet Chunkanus messenger returned that we would not come the next day. His daughter came to entreat me, showing her father had hurt his leg and much follow uh much furrowed furrowed he could not see me captain newport uh being not to uh be persuaded to go in that powhatan had um desired us to stay sent her away with a like answer yet the next day upon better consideration um something prevailed and we anchored at Cinco Watt Cinco Wattec. Um <clears throat> the first twain above the parting of the river where we dwelled where dwelled two kings of Pomanque brothers to Powhatan, the one called Opi Chapam, the other Karatu. To these I went ashore who kindly entreated me and Master Scrivener, sending me to me presents aboard to Captain Newport, whilst we were trucking with these kings. Trucking, talking, I don't know. Opechen Kano, his wife, women, and children came to meet me with natural kind affection. He seems to rejoice to see me. Captain Newport came ashore with many kind discourses. We passed that uh, something after dinner. Captain Newport went about with the pinnace to Menapakant, which is 20 miles by water and not one by land. Opechikano conducted me <coughs> and Master Scrivener by land, where having built a uh, something house, lasting, leasing house, uh, purpose to entertain us with a kind oration. After their manner and his best provisions, kindly welcomed us that day he would not truck, but bid us best to uh, delight us with content. Captain Newport arrived towards evening, whom the king presented with the five great platters of fine bread and pansomana. The next day, till none we traded, the king seated, uh, treated all the company, and the afternoon was spent uh, in playing, uh, dancing, and delight. By no means he would have us depart till the next day. He had seated us with venison for which he had sent, having spent his first and second provision in <coughs> expecting our coming. The next day, he performed his promise, giving more to us three than would have sufficed thirty. And in that, we carried not all way, uh, what we left, not away what we left. He sent it after us to the Pindus, um, with what words as signs of love he could express, we departed. Captain Newport in the Pindus. <coughs> leaving me in the barge um, to bigger dig a rock not sure where we support supposed a mine at Cinco Watec which bone ere midnight I arrived at where Komoko where our pin is anchored being 20 miles from Cinco Wateque, next day we um, took leave of Powhatan who in regard of his kindness gave him an Indian be well affected to go with him to England in stead of his son I cause I assure me was to know our strength and country's condition next day we arrived at Kiskiak the people so um friend i'm not sure fully entertained us as with what signs 
<coughs> corn and discontent, we could we departed and returned to our fort with two hundred and fifty bushels of corn, and our precedent be, being not wholly recovered of his sickness and discharging his piece broke break and split his hand off which he has not yet well recovered out uh, captain newport's arrival we were uh, victualled for 12 weeks and having furnished him of what he thought good he set sail for england the 10th of april Master Scrivener and myself with our um, shallop accompanied him to Captain Hendrick. Powhatan, having for a farewell, sent him fine five or, or six men's loadings with turkeys <coughs> for swords, which he sent him in our return to a fort. We discovered the river of now summed a second warlike nation or proud a proud warlike nation as well we might testify at our first arrival at chesapeake but that um injury captain newport will revenge at his return where some of them insisting instilling i'm not sure him to their uh ample could bows by a balance he received dance oh i, I think it's dance amble combos by a dance he received them their intent with a um, volley of musket shot hmm that's interesting slew one and shot one or two more as themselves can Contest. Con con I don't know. The king, at <clears throat> one arrival, sent for me to come unto him. I sent him word that commodities I had exchanged for wheat, and he would, as had rest of his neighbors, <clears throat> conclude a peace. We were contented at last. He came um, something before the boat, which rid at anchor some 40 yards from uh, shore he signified to me to come ashore and sent a canoe with uh, core and two of his men two whereof i fired uh, or to come and in boat i don't know to come to stay <clears throat> board to stay Board to stay, I would send two to talk with the uh, king of those. To this he agreed. The king uh, presented with a piece of copper, which he kindly accepted, and sent his victuals, vic victuals to entertain the messengers. Master Scrivener and myself also, after that, went ashore. The king kindly... Um, seated us, requesting us to stay to trade till the next day, which having done, we returned to the fort. The river is a musket shot broad, each side being uh, should each side being. Should bays? No, I don't know. A narrow channel, but three fathom. This course uh, for 18 miles, almost directly south, and by the west, where <clears throat> begins the first inhabitants. For a mile it turneth directly east, towards the west. Direct, I don't know. A great day and a white, uh, chalky land. Uh, con continent con convenient I don't know convenient for a fort convenient for a fort his next course south where within a quarter of a mile the river divideth in two the neck uh, plain high cornfield the west 
brought a high plane likewise. The northeast answerable in all respects, and these plains are uh, planted in abundance of houses and people. They may contain uh, 1,000 acres of most exceedingly fertile ground to so sweet to or so pleasant so beautiful and so strong a prospect <clears throat> for an invincibly strong city with so many commodities that i know as yet i uh something cannot see this is within uh one uh, day's journey of Chawanoke. The river f falleth into the King's River within 20 miles of Cape Hendike. At our fort, the tools we had were so ordinarily stolen by the Indians as necessity enforced us to correct their uh something thieveries for the that stole today um to come again the next day one amongst the rest having stolen two swords i got the council's consent to let in the in the bill bill hose i don't know the next day with three more he came with their oof i have no idea something swords in the midst of our men to steal their custom is to take anything they can seize off only the people of pamanke we have not found stealing but what others can steal their king receive this yeah i bade them depart but flourishing their swords they seemed to defend what they could catch but out of our hands his pride uh something me to turn him from amongst us whereat he offered to strike me with his sword which i prevented striking him first the rest offering to revenge the blow received such an encounter and fled the better to afraid fright them i pursued them with five or five or six shot and so chased them out of the land the beginnings of this um something broil i don't know little expecting by his carriage we uh something of uh something uh present that present not being contradicted especially um them of paspaha these indians with one within one hour having by either savages then in the fort understood that i threatened to be revenged came presently of themselves and fell by working upon our wares sell by working upon our wares which were then in hand by uh, other savages who seeing their pride so encountered were so uh, submissive and willing to um something anything as might be and with trembling fear uh desired to be friends within three days after from nafamond which is 30 miles from us the king sent us a hatchet which they had stolen from us at our being there messenger as is the custom also was well rewarded and contented 20 of 20th the 20th of april being at work in <coughs> um hewing downs trees and set um something corn and 
alarm caused us with all speed to take our arms, each expecting a new assault of the savages, but understanding if a boat in a boat under sail, our doubts were um, presently satisfied. With the happy fight of Master Nelson, his many perils of extreme storms and tempests, his ship well as his camp any could um, testify, his care in sparing our provisions was well, but the provisions thereof as also of our stones, hatchets, and other uh, something uh, only ours accepted which of all the rest was most necessary which might enforce us to think about either a um, seditious traitor to our action the most unconceivable deceiver of our treasures this happy arrival of master nelson in the phoenix but without no having been then about three months missing after captain newport's arrival being to all our expectations um expectations lost albeit then now at the uh last having been long crossed with temptuous weather and contrary winds his uh long unpredicted coming bid so um something us with uh exceeding joy that now we thought ourselves as well uh fitted uh lifted as our um hearts could with ah oh, jeez both with a, a competent number of men as also for other needful provisions till a further supply should come unto us whereupon the first thing that was conceived was that myself and master scrivener should with 70 men um, go with the best means we could provide to discover beyond the falls as in our um in uh, uh, boy, I don't know what that is. Uh, in agreements, continually we might five or seven days we spent only in tra uh, training our men to march, fight, and um, skirmish in the woods. These willing minds to this action so quickened their understanding in the exercise, as in all judgments we were. Better able to fight with Powhatans, whole force, in our order of battle amongst the trees, for thicks there is few. Huh. Then the fort was to uh, repoose, I'm not sure, 400. At the first assault, repulse 400 the first assault with some 10 or 20 shot not knowing what to be more how to use a piece one warrant being sealed master nelson uh, uh something to something us with voluntary mariners and himself as he promised uh unto sh to, unless we would stand bound to pay the hire for ship and mariners for the time they stayed and further there was some controversy controversy in discovery of contrary opinions some alleging that how profitable and to what good purpose uh something our journey would should portend yet our commission commanding no certain design we should be tarred for the most indiscreet men in the world um, decides the wrong we uh, should do to captain newport to whom only our discoveries did belong and to no other the means for guides 
beside the uncertain courses of the river, from which we could not err much. Uh, such night would fortify us in two hours. Better than that, they first called the fort their towns upon the river, each within one day's journey of the of either. Beside our joining pos, uh, provisions, we we'll, might well be supposed to add relief for a uh, truck and a dealing only. Huh. But in love and in low and I don't know, um, as we the rest, if they assailed us, our towns they cannot defend, nor their luggage for luggage for so um, kind of, I don't know, that we should not share, but admit the worst. 16 days provisioned we had of cheese, oatmeal, and uh, biscuit, besides our uh, run, run divans, I don't know. We could and might have bid in, hid in the ground with five men. Captain Martin would have undertaken it himself, leaving the rest to defend the fort and plant our corn. Yet no reason could be could be reason. No reason could be reason. That's weird. To proceed forward, though we were going aboard to set sail. These discontents caused so many doubts to some and discouragement to others as our journey ended, yet some of us procured petitions to set um, us forward, only with hope of our own confusions. Our next course was to turn husbandmen hmm, to sell trees and get let corn get i don't know 50 of our men we employed in the service the rest kept the fort to tow the command of the president and captain martin 30 days the ship lay expecting um something of certain matters which for some cause i keep private and next exploit was an indian having stolen an axe was to be um something by master scrivener and then next him as he threw it down and flying drew his bow at any that first encountered him within four or five days after master scrivener and i being a little from the fort among the corn two indians each with a cudgel and all newly painted with Terraf terafiliata came circling about me as though they would have clubbed me like a hare I knew their uh, feigning love I don't know is towards me not without a beadly hatred but to prevent the worst I calling Master Scrivener retired to the fort the Indians, seeing me suspect them with good terms, asked um, for some of their men whom they would beat and went with me into our fort, finding one that lay ordinarily with us only for a spy. They offered to beat him. I, in persuading them to forbear, they offered to begin with me being now four, four for two other arrayed in like manner, came in on the other side of the fort, whereupon I, um, something to the post and apprehended them. President and council being presently acquainted, remembering all that the first uh, assault, they came in like manner and neither um, uh, neither 
else but against some villainy, concluded to commit them to prison and uh, expect the uh, event. Eight more we ceased at that present. An hour after came three and four other strangers extraordinarily fitted with arrows, skins, and shooting gloves. They're um, something in fear. Uh, dissuade their bad intent and also their suspicions, suspicious departure. The next day came first an Indian, then another as uh, something for their men. They desired to speak with me. Our discourse was that what sp spades, shovels, swords, and tools they had um, something to bring home. Some. I don't know. Not the next day they should hang. The next news was they had taken two of our men ranging in the woods, which mischief no punishment will prevent but hanging, and these they would or should redeem their own. Okay, so basically uh, they also have some prisoners or hostages, and um, yeah, so that's uh, that's what's going on. Sixteen or eighteen, thus having um, us, so our uh, I don't know. We desired the president and Captain Martin that afternoon to sally upon them, that they might but know what we uh, something do to do, and that night manned our barge, and burnt their towns, and spoiled and destroyed what we could, but they brought our men and freely delivered them. The president released one, the rest we brought well guarded. To morning and evening prayers, our men all in arms their trembling fear then caused them too much sorrow, which uh, till then caused and uh, I don't know at what we durst do. The councils concluded that I should terrify them with some torture to know if I could know their intent. The next day I bound one in hold and to the mains mast, main mast, and presenting fire muskets with match in the cocks, forced him to desire life to answer my demands he could not. But one of his Kumuodos was of the Council of Paspaha that could satisfy me. I, releasing him out of sight, I affrighted the other um, with the th with threat, then with muskets, hmm. which, seeing he desired me to stay, and he would con confess to this execution master scrivener come his discourse was to this effect that paspa had the chica hominyard yotanum panka mata pomanka mata peniant and kiskiak these nations were altogether a uh, hunting that took me paspa and chica hamania had intended to surprise us at work to have had our tools. Powhatan at this would uh, something friends till Captain Newport's return that he had again this man which he called Namontok. Namontak, where with a great lest he would uh, so, um, 
subbed in Captain Newport and his men as they should cease on him and the like traps would be laid for the rest. This trap for our tools or fools. I'm not actually sure what that word is. It's kind of interesting that they would lay a trap for tools. I don't know. It's got to be something else. Uh, we suspect the chief occasion was four days before Powhatan had sent the, the day he had to us. With many uh, turkeys to Master Scrivener and me, understanding I would go un into his country to destroy them, and he doubted it the more, and that I... Um, Something, my man, who's shooting the beard to his own lodging now, that's weird, that much feared his wives and children, we sent him word we intended no such thing, but only to go to Powhatan to take um, stones to make hatchets except his men shoot at us, as Paspaha had told, as they would, which if they did shoot but one arrow, we would destroy them, and least this mischief might happen, sent the boy to acquaint him thus with, thus much, <coughs> and request, oof, being to send us way anoke, one of his subjects for a guide. Um, the boy returned back with his chief and apparel, which then we had given him, desiring another uh, for him, and cause was he was practicing with the Chickahominius, as the boy suspected some villainy by their extraordinary re report, resort, I don't know, a secret conference from whence they would send him. The boy we keep now, we would send him many messengers and presents. The guide we desired be sent us with all requested us to return him, either the boy or some other, but none could. Um, I'm not sure. That day, these Indians were apprehended, This his son, with others had something at our fort returned being out of the fort railed on me to diverse of our men to be enemies to him and to chickahominius chickamanius not long after when okay and had been uh, with us our guides whom we kept to have conducted us in another journey to a false excuse returned. We returned and secretly after him, uh, Amokis the Paspahean, who always they kept amongst us for a spy, whom the better to avoid suspicion Presently after there came to uh, something away, these presumptions induced me to take any occasion not only to try the oh, something of uh, Amosis, uh, this, I don't know, but uh, for also the meaning of their these cunning tricks of their Emperor of Powhatan, who true, whose true meaning Captain Martin most confidently pleaded. The Confessions of Makano, which was the counselor of Paspahe, um, first I then Master Scrivener upon these several examinations found them all, confirmed that Paspahe and Chickahominia his had hate us and intended some mischief, and who they were that make 
uh, me the the names of them that stole our tools and swords and that of Powhatan um, I don't know ex exercise them I don't know they all uh, greed certain volleys of shot we caused to be discharged which caused each other in to think that their fellows had been slain powhatan understanding we detained certain savages uh seat his sent his daughter a child and 10 years old which not only uh, for feature countenance i don't know a proposition much Uh, I'm not sure. Any of the rest of his people uh, and spirit, the only non patiel of his country, this being sent by his most trusted messenger called Ra Hunt. As much receiving in, I don't know, but of the subtle wit and crafty understanding. He, with long circumstance, told me how well Powhatan loved and respected me, and in that I should not doubt any way of his kindness. He had seat his, sent his child, which by be most esteemed to see one, to see me, a dear and Um, a deer and uh, I think it might be meat I'm not sure um, for a present desired me that the boy might come again which he loved exceedingly his little daughter he had taught this lesson also not taking notice at all of the Indians that had been prisoner three days till that morning that the that they saw their fathers and friends come quietly and in good terms to entreat their liberty. Opechokono sent also unto us that for his sake we would release two that were his friends and for a token sent me his shooting um i'm not sure what that is sloan and bracer glove shooting glove and bracer which the day our men was taken upon separated himself upon the rest a long time uh entrusted to speak with me where in token of peace he had preferred me the same now all of them having found their peremptory peremptory conditions but to increase our malice which they seeing us begin to threaten to destroy them as familiar familiarly as before without suspicion or fear came amongst us to beg liberty for their men in the afternoon they being gone we guarded them as before at to the church and after prayer came gave them to pocahuntas the king's daughter in regard of her father's kindness in regard of her father's kindness and lending her after having well fed them as all the time of their imprisonment we gave them their bows arrows and what else they had and with much content sent them packing pocahuntas also we requited with such trifles as contented her to tell that we had um something and paspahayans very kindly into releasing them the next day we had suspicion of some other 
practice for an ambulcado, but perfectly we could not discover it. Two days after a Pasapayan came to them as a uh, gl glittering mineral stone and with signs demonstrating it to be in great abundance like unto rocks with some dozen more I was sent to seek to dig some quantity and the Indian to conduct me but suspecting this some trick to delude us <coughs> for to get some copper of us or with some embolcado to betray us seeing them him uh, falter in his tail being two miles on our way led him ashore where uh, something from place to place and so seeking either to have drawn us with him into the woods or to have given us the slip I showed him copper which I promised to have given him if he had performed his promise but for his scoffing and abusing us I gave him 20 lashes with a rope and his bows and arrows bidding him shoot if he durst and let him go and all this time our men being of the most part well recovered recovered and we not willing to trifle away more time in the necessity and forced us unto we thought good for the best content of the adventurers in some reasonable lost to straight home and master nelson with cedar wood about which our men going with willing minds as in something time affected and the ship sent for england we uh something maintaining uh maining main, main, i don't know being in good health and all our men <coughs> well contented free from mutinies and in love one with a, another as we hope in a continual peace with the indians where we doubt not but by god's gracious assistance and the adventurers willing minds and speedy furtherance to the honorable and action in uh, after times in to see our nation to enjoy country not only exceedingly pleasant but for habitation but also very profitable for commerce in general no doubt pleasing to almighty god honorable to ever gracious sovereign and commodious generally to the whole kingdom uh so that's the end of this book which um you have to uh pardon the difficulty with reading it it's uh written um it's uh very old writing and um the book is it's, well it's difficult to read anyway if you have enjoyed this content please um check out all of my other publications uh my other uh channels and whatnot and there are free books available at the links and if you so desire you may support my work at any of the options venmo paypal cash app buy me coffee thank you